Bronx is about some strong musical characters, and sure, we know about the hip-hop artists and the rappers performing in clubs, but did you know that a lot of the Latin sounds originated in older neighborhoods from immigrant families bringing back their music from places like Cuba and even Africa? Check this out. I've always been fascinated with the big band sound. You know, I'm a trumpet player, so I grew up listening to Dizzy Gillespie, Tito Puente, Tito Rodriguez, Miles Davis. Steven Oquendo has been playing trumpet since he was 10 years old. Attending music school as a child steered him towards a love of Latin and jazz culture. Graduating after college, he would invite musician friends to practice socially with melodies and prepare for various gigs in the Bronx. I figured, you know, let's, let me just put this together. I think it would be fun. It was just really a rehearsal band at first, and it's starting to become something else. What this band did become is the only 17-piece big swing sound anywhere in the Bronx. The members are all musicians who are inspired by a love of old jazz masters and Latin orchestras. I think when I was like uh, the fifth grade, the Duke Ellington band came to Japan and I saw the band. But I didn't know, you know, trombone plays like this and, you know, that was interesting. So I want to play that instrument. This group is intent on reviving a style that originated from Africa and Cuba called Afro-Cuban. Pete Miranda is the oldest performer of the band. He played with some of the greats. I did like 23 years with, with, with Tito Cuente. And he was part of the routine, he would tell the people, we don't play salsa. Salsa you put on spaghetti and everything. One of the first orchestra bands to inspire Steven Ocuendo was Machito and his Afro-Cubans. Oh, I did that band for about 15 years. He came to the States, I think in 37, 38, around there. And they added the conga, all the timbales, which is something very new, and you know, it was orchestrated for a Latin music. The band is popular throughout the Bronx and has a following. They practice every Tuesday and Thursday in Hunts Point. It is there you can find them intently rehearsing their sound with fans watching nearby. And while they play to preserve the history of this music, members of the band are intent on passing on their knowledge to a younger audience. Recently, they were at MS-223, working as teaching artists, instructing kids in the South Bronx to read music and play an instrument in the big band style. This is a two-week summer program, and these kids have never held an instrument before. It's one thing to have a music teacher talk about music, and we all have had that experience, and never see that music teacher play, never see that music teacher live the life with Steve. Kids know that he's a real musician. They know that he's going out there doing it at nights, doing it on weekends, and then comes here and teaches. So that experience of taking something in the classroom and really making it real world, I think exposes kids to the beauty of the music, but also to the music as a career. I feel that there's a lot of cuts in arts and a lot of kids are not really being exposed to this music. I just love sharing what I know. Since I was young, I've always loved sharing what I know. Learning to play an instrument in front of an audience after two weeks of practice is impressive. But what is really spectacular is hearing the band live in front of an audience. This day, it was a big, powerful wall of sound. Hearing a big band live is totally different from listening to it in a recording or, or watching it on, on a video. The energy of the audience reacted immediately when the brass starts to play. You can feel the energy that the people are giving you, whether they like the music or they don't like the music. They don't have to clap. Or you can actually feel uh, the people wanting to listen to you and interacting with the music. It's the rhythm. It's like when you walk into a club, you go, oh my God, what is that? It's that pulse. When I see people, people getting the music, they might not know what's being sung, but they know what makes them move. That's what every musician looks for, you know? When you see people dancing, people shouting, that's what moves you. That's what moves you as a performer. 
You can drop in and hear the Stephen Oquendo Band every Tuesday and Thursday, practicing at the Point in the South Bronx.